Cho, what's going on guys, CJ back with another expansion draft episode! Yes, I fully realize the microphone on this computer sucks, like, bad, but one sec, maybe if I do this, I wonder if this works, will it? Ah, now I won't be like, <laughs> now it'll kind of sound normal. So, we can do six more teams, oh, I love that back then, sexy. Uh, we got the Blackhawks, Lanch, Blue Jackets, Stars, Wings, Oilers. So, we're going to make this an entire series. I love this website. So, uh, wow, the Blackhawks have $49,000 in cap space. That's 49000 more than they had last season. But doom crash. So, yeah. Uh, they're in bad shape for the expansion draft. Very, very bad shape. Very poor shape. Well, I don't know why. Because they have no moving clauses up the gazoo. This is what I'm talking about. Watch this. Boom. Boom. Look at all this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you really want to protect Hosa and Anisimov, well, you don't have a choice. you got to protect Vili Poco. And this is what you're left with. They are blessed that Panarin is not exposed. Because now they really, really, well, blah, blah. They'll have to expose Hartman, McNeil, Rasmussen, Sam Carrick. Um, these guys aren't that important. Marcus Kruger, Richard Panic. You know, the Blackhawks, man, they dug their own grave. So that's, that's for the Blackhawks. I mean, Trevor Van Riemsdyk, Victor Svedberg. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, they're not, lose, they're not gonna lose somebody insane. But, you know, they're going to lose an asset, unless. So now we'll move on to the Colorado Avalanche. Come over here. So, the Avalanche, looking like this. They got McKinnon, Duchesne, Landis Cogger, Ginla, Soderbergh, all these guys. They got, you know, over a million and a half in cap space. So they're not looking awful. Um, yeah, it shouldn't be that hard for them to get to this expansion draft. Now, I want to propose a little something here. I don't know if it affects anything if you don't protect Barlamov. Obviously, you've got to protect Tyson Barry, and you got to protect Nikita Zadorov and Duncan Siemens. Are you, uh, and then after that, McKinnon, Duchesne, Landis Cog. That is rough. You're going to expose Duncan Simons, protect Soderberg. That's it. R R again, who's probably going to retire. Colburn. Como, yeah, not big deal, not a big deal, not a big deal, big deal, big deal, meh, 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 eh, eh, you know, Colorado's caught between a rock and a hard place. The best way to go about doing it, go Francois Boschman to, oh, oh, obviously, Simeon Valamov, uh, and you gotta get Boschman to waive his no moving clause or trade him, because that's rough, having Francois Boschman take up a spot, you, boom, you take that off, you protect one, two, three more players. But, that's not the scenario, unfortunately, because we don't, we have no intuition as to what's going to happen. So we have to use it on Boschman, unfortunately. I wish I couldn't, Colorado fans. I really wish I couldn't. But, that's the way the cookie's going to crumble for this one, unfortunately. And they have a lot of good players exposed there in Colorado. So now we'll go on to CBJ. Boom. Over here, Columbus. They got a little over $2 million in cap. Looking at the team, they're not going to have an awful time. <clears throat> I'm going to cough. I don't know why now. They shouldn't have an awful time. The only problem is the same thing with no moving clauses. And the fact that they have a deep team, so they really got to decipher and pick who the hell is going to stay here and who's going to go. First and foremost, you've got to protect Brandon Saad, Seth Jones, Davis Savard, and Ryan Murray. Bobrovsky, unfortunately, you have to. Cam Atkinson, Boone Jenner, and Carlson. And now, effectively, you're allowing Jack Johnson to leave, which isn't even that big of a deal, um, because they have the defenseman to replace him. You're exposing Jack Johnson, Calvert, uh, who would be a loss, but nothing huge, Alexander Wenberg, Josh Anderson, and Broadhurst, Alex Broadhurst. That's rough. You definitely, I mean, can promise you this, they're going to try to find a suitor and or get Heart and all the way, there's no moving clause. Uh, Dubinsky and Felino aren't going anywhere. Felino's a captain, Dubinsky is a heart and soul player. It's going to be rough for the Blue Jackets, but I can guarantee you that Scotty Hartnell will not be on this team 
come the expansion draft time, they're going to get to either waive it or trade them because that's a big slot because you take it off Hartnell, you can protect Wenberg. But, you know, as is our scenario. We, uh, I'm not going to accept no women clauses being waived because we don't know what's going to happen, you know? Again, the whole intuition thing. So that's the way the Blue Jackets are going to look. Kind of rough. Move on to the Dallas Stars. We'll scroll down here. Dallas. Dallas Stars. They have a little over two in cap space right now. So cap shouldn't be an issue. You got Jamie Ben, Tyler Sagan, and Patrick Sharp. Um, Spezza. And these, yeah. They shouldn't be in awful shape, but they're not in good shape either. Um, they got to pick a goaltender. So I honestly, I think it's going to be Anthony Niemi because of his cap hit. And because they are a cap team. But um, we'll see. Nothing can be decided yet. So let's take a look at who they're going to protect, who they're not going to protect. So first and foremost, uh, Tyler Sagan, Klingberg. They didn't sign Hamus for nothing, but we're going to we're gonna do that for a second. Alexiak. No, they, they've been trying to trade him. We're, we won't protect him yet. We're going to go Niami, actually. Um... Steven Johns, who's, who's played honestly great. Um, maybe Patrick Namath. And then from here, you got to go Roussel, Cody Eakin. Um, I mean, I love the touchscreen computer. And Natrushkin, you could you could expose him. I don't think anyone's going to claim him. He, I don't think he's going to be coming back to the NHL anytime soon, peeps. Um, Korpakoski's played great, but he's got to continue his play before I can protect him. Uh, Brett Ritchie, Radic Faxa. Now, you're, you're exposing Patrick Sharp, but he's going to be a free agent anyway. So if they claim him, they're always risking him going to free agency. Uh, Dan Hamus, that's a tough one to release. But then again, they signed him to a two-year deal. And, you know, Dallas is going all in this year. They have an older team. I mean, their young guys really are Sharp, uh, Sagan, Ben, Kodik, uh, and Roussel, Fax, and Richie. And that's their future right now. Don't worry about that. This is their one and done year for the um, Dallas Stars. So, uh, and besides, I don't think that Las Vegas are going to claim Patrick Sharp, who, who's a UFA, when they could just claim Dam Hanus, Jordy Ben, Alexiak, all these other guys. I don't think they're going to go ahead and claim uh, Patrick Sharp. Don't even worry about that. Uh, let's go here. Detroit, who's negative six in cap space. That is rough right there. That is. Definitely rough. I don't know how they're gonna have to deal with that. But um let's see. I don't know the team. They got a few no moving clauses. They really gotta decide who they're gonna expose and who they're not. They were definitely caught off guard by the expansion draft, I can promise you that, because this is gonna be rough for them. Uh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a rough expansion draft. They're they're no doubt gonna lose one really, really good player. And that's what the toys made up of. They're a lot of really good players. Uh, let's go over here, then we'll act them out. Boom, expansion draft tool. Uh, Zetterberg, he's the captain. Pete Morazic. Uh, De Kaiser. Cronwall. And. Who even protect here, man? Um, I would say Ouellette. Oh, we'll turn here. And then you gotta protect Qatar, Nyquist. Mantha, you lose Mantha, you're out of your mind. I found to see you. And... Um... Maybe Abdulkader, but I'm actually going to go ahead and say... Oh, Riley, I didn't even see Riley Shahan, there you go. Uh, I'm leaving Abdulkader exposed because cap hit, age, and there's just more important assets you got to protect. Now, I assume that the Red Wings offseason is going to be one big explosion. They're going to be trading a lot of players. They're going to be trading a lot, a lot of players. So we'll see about Detroit. Detroit, uh, looking rough for Detroit right now. Let's move on to Edmonton, who might also have it hard to uh, the expansion draft. Got a little, well, almost $4 million in cap space. Um, actually, they shouldn't actually have that bad. They're actually going to be in pretty good shape for the expansion draft. I take that back. All right. So let's take a look at the Oilers. So Eberle, Nuge, um, Tricidal, 
these guys you can go uh boom boom uh da, 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 da. you might even expose him at this point uh maroon expose him cassian and yeah i, I guess blogging hitlick's been doing good but i would I'll protect him first Effectively leaving Thane, Russell, Davidson, Gliba, Griffin, Reinhardt, who is a bust. I mean, we got to just admit to that now, or we never will. Uh, Anton Lander, all these guys. You just got to let them go, Edmonton. You know what? They're, um, oh, excuse me. They're really holding themselves back by keeping these players. And uh, either way, you're moving cap space out. So, not a big deal at all. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed watching. You guys certainly enjoyed making it. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Peace.